my manifesto will be firstly to build a shooting range. Uh, shooting house group people go out in the city many times during the workshops. This takes a lot of the time, like 2-3 hours of travelling and also increases the registration cost. So if we have a shooting range right here in our campus, that will save them a lot of hassles and uh, will also be give more and more people the motivation to continue. Okay. And it could also be offered as a CPA later on. Yeah. And we also have a plan for that because in the new P, new building in the P field, we have a, a three floor, three floors. So on the third floor, the floor is vacant. So I want to give the first year rights the flexibility to change the sports, as in CPA trials for the second time in this semester. Okay. What we see is that uh, when we come here, we are not aware of all the sporting avenues over here. We not we don't know what hall climbing is. We don't know what skating is. So I want them to be properly oriented before they choose their CPAs and if they are not, if they make a wrong decision and I, give them, I want to give them the flexibility to change their CPA in the, the, the shortage of sporting avenues and circuits for people who are interested in playing outside the institute teams. Mm -hmm. Like many times when you come for playing badminton, you do not get the fields that the courts are vacant or anything. Mm -hmm. Suppose I want to play cricket, there is no good field for me. Mm -hmm. So I want to make these facilities more and more and easily accessible to the people so that that means casual sports should be encouraged. I think we need to develop an overall sporting culture in the institute. So what we see in the halls is that there are no hall, hall level sporting activities going on. We see that we have Galaxy and FIFA pre preparing for that, the people dance even after that. So we don't have any sports festival in the halls. So I want to promote that. And also the hall facilities which you see that most of the halls are badminton courts but they are in very bad shape. So the hall court should be maintained properly. And also, also since we know that the 2016 inter IT is going to be held over here, we will have been lots of new venues over there like a new cricket field, football field and also new badminton courts are going to be built. So we'll, we will be having a lot of areas to focus on. So we can give people the motivation and moving on to the fitness part, I think we have a, we have a club job, a hobby group for that, that's job, the job is hobby group. But uh, I don't think that's doing great job right now because it's very dominant. Because people prefer running in the winter season. Yeah, and, and, the, and the leaders of the hobby group are generally team members from the athletics team. Mm -hmm. But they have to right. practice for the inter -IT. So that is a bit of a problem. So, so, so most of the issues related to the people who are not in the institute teams is connected to the coaches. The coaches need to take an initiative so and ask people to come out and this they, they might say that you come to the field and we we'll teach you everything. Like I was talking to Ratcha who teaches tennis recently, that he asked two, two or three wings of hall two and hall three. To, uh, to come to the tennis field in the morning and he teach the entire wing together from the scratch. So coaches need to take this kind of initiative. Mm -hmm. And we need to, uh, as a general secretary and as captains, we need to ask them to maybe step up their efforts a little bit. Mm -hmm. Go vote.